Okay, okay, okay. Guys, this might be the sign we've been waiting for. It seems that the official Total War blog might have accidentally leaked a new Total War title, namely Total War Pharaoh. This screenshot was posted to Reddit and features a Total War blog lineup, where Total War Pharaoh, a title I've certainly never heard of before, is listed. What's more is that a leaker who has a history of being correct also confirms that the next Total War title is indeed Total War Pharaoh. He goes to even greater lengths though, detailing actual tangible information like the various release editions. Apparently, Total War Pharaoh will feature three editions, the Standard, Deluxe, and Dynasty editions, with pre-order content bonus including cosmetic packs, faction packs plus soundtrack, and for the Dynasty edition, three faction packs and interestingly, a campaign pack. And by the way, while you're here, since only 9% of people watching are subscribed to the channel, it would mean so much to me if you decided to click that sub button. It only takes a second but really helps me out, especially if you love Total War games. It is more than a century since the death of Alexander the Great. His glorious empire has shattered into a number of warring successor kingdoms. In Egypt, Pharaoh Ptolemy IV is a Greek ruler on the Egyptian throne. Okay, that was a surprising amount of information. So let's go through it in detail and let me give you my thoughts. Personally, I find this leak extremely surprising. Not least of all since, honestly, I never thought we would get a game that, at least seemingly, takes place in the Bronze Age. Perhaps even further back than the Total War Saga Troy, which of course also was a Bronze Age themed game. The reason why I never thought this likely is perhaps mostly because number one, it's so far back in time, arguably featuring a niche era and factions that, let's face it, the majority of people don't really know much about. That's not a bad thing at all, of course. On the contrary, for perhaps the first time in CS history, Total War Pharaoh would show that they're really willing to feature time periods or eras that are so outside of the mainstream, and I think that's really cool. We do have proof that Ancient Egypt can be made popular, of course, in various older strategy games like the Pharaoh games themselves, and even the more recent Assassin's Creed Origins. But of course, when we talk of Ancient Egypt, we are more or less loosely describing a period that lasted for literally thousands of years. Of course, by many, Cleopatra herself was considered a pharaoh as ruler of Egypt. But if we were looking at a game focusing on Cleo, I think it would be much more likely that the game would indeed be called Total War Cleopatra, as the series has a history of naming games after famous rulers. No, I believe pharaoh is more likely to take place during the Old Kingdom, and in some ways, despite the game itself being a surprise to me, it kinda makes sense. Troy was arguably a chance CA took with a similar time period, but in terms of impact, I don't think it became as beloved as CA wanted to. And that's a shame really, because Troy has so much to offer that really sets it apart from other Total War games, not least of all the ancient time period. But let's circle back to Pharaoh itself. I think the question becomes why a game about the ancient Pharaohs is being made, and what it says for the campaign itself. Because depending on the time period, this ancient period game can be completely different from any other Total War out there. In my opinion, if we are looking at a true Pharaoh game, it's likely that we are looking at the Old Kingdom, a period spanning at least 2700 to 2200 BC, which holy smokes is starting to become very long ago. The reason why I'm saying this is because this is a period in which Egypt experienced extreme dynamism, and it's even known as the Age of the Pyramids, namely because it's in this time period where many of the pyramids were built, namely those at Giza. This period will also include some of the most famous other ancient first civilizations, such as the Sumerian and perhaps Akkadian civilizations of Mesopotamia, and perhaps, depending on the extent of this map, the early Greek and Minoan civilizations in the northwest. That's another point of thought, of course, namely what this game will feature. This game is called Pharaoh, and so it's understandable that it might focus on Egypt itself. But just as Total War Attila lends a lot of focus to the Roman empires and various other cultures, so too could Pharaoh simply be a way to bring this time period to life, rather than just Egypt itself. And so, while it's possible that we're only getting a massive map of Egypt here, I think it would be a shame if the other ancient civilizations weren't featured as well, since this is a unique opportunity to do so. As a lover of diverse campaign maps myself, I also think it would be a shame not to include more, simply on the basis of map diversity. Other than the Nile, Egypt is a lot of desert, so actually having islands like Crete and Cyprus, and lands like Palestine, Anatolia, and Mesopotamia to play around in, would lend it a lot more of that all-encompassing, empire-building adventure feeling. It would also make sense if it was larger, since then the faction packs could bring in factions from further away, perhaps. 
Alternatively, if it focuses solely on Egypt, I imagine we'll get factions that are centered around tribes or local governors. Egypt was during this time in a battle of centralization versus decentralization after all. And at the end of the Old Kingdom, Egypt was nowhere near the unified glorious kingdom it was during its height, meaning we could see factions focused around toppling the pharaoh himself. What gets me even more interested though is the supposed expansion campaign. If we know CA, it's that they really don't expand already existing campaigns. Meaning for example, if Pharaoh really did only focus on Egypt, the expansion campaign is not likely to expand that grand campaign further east. What it's more likely to do is bring a new campaign map, either with the same or all new factions. Now let's say the original map focuses on Egypt only. In this case, the expansion map, in my opinion, could be centered on the eastern or northernmost parts of Egypt, plus the rest of the Fertile Crescent, as this is where the majority of players' interests would lie, I think. Finally, like mentioned, Pharaoh could also refer to the later period of Cleopatra, or perhaps more likely, even the successor states. A few months ago, we got another type of leak, a Total War motion capture actor armed on what looks to be a horse. He's a specialist in medieval and early modern warfare, but they did after all carry swords and shields on horseback back in the Ptolemaic times as well. And as we know, the Ptolemies did in fact call themselves pharaohs. In other words, pharaoh is an extremely wide term in terms of ancient Egypt, and could spell a number of different time periods and settings. But so, when could this game be officially announced or even released? It's already relatively late in the year after all, so I personally wonder whether we're looking at a release already later this year. Well, the leak predictor actually predicts that the game is announced this coming week, which would be very soon and, to me at least, very welcoming news. If so, this could mean that we're looking at either an August, September or October release date, as these are historically when Total War games have come out, especially if the games release in the latter half of the year. In the end, I never expected a Total War Pharaoh to ever be released, especially if it takes place in the early Bronze Age. But whatever age is going to be, I think it spells a new era for Total War, one that is historical but not a part of the Saga franchise. I really hope Pharaoh shows the way forward by continuing the performance gains of the past games, including Troy, that it adds new and deep mechanics for both the campaign map and the battle map, and that we get a detailed and faithful depiction of ancient Egypt, a time period which Total War has never truly touched upon like this. But that's all to say that Pharaoh is real, of course, and that it takes place in the Bronze Age. But what do you think? Do you think it's real, that it is the Bronze Age? Or might it be about the Ptolemies and the successor states? Make sure to let me know in the comments, and please leave a like, comment, and sub to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!